use case number 15. So we have reached the middle of our use case chapter wherein we have discussed 14 use cases and this is the 15th one. We'll be discussing 15 more use cases. So let's take a look at use case 15, right? If you have not taken a look at the previous use cases, do take a look at them. They are in the playlist Apex Triggers, 30 use cases, right? Let's discuss use case 15 now. As soon as opportunity is closed, lost, remove all opportunity team members from the opportunity, right? So all the team members who are part of the opportunity should be removed as soon as the opportunity is set as closed, lost, where, where the closed, lost is nothing but the stage value. Okay, and who are the opportunity team members? So normally with opportunity, because there is revenue involved, you get to create a team and then your revenue is split amongst the team if you win the deal, right? So that's where you use opportunity team members. There are different people who collectively work in closing a deal, right? Those are your opportunity team members. Now, Salesforce lets you configure opportunity team members, but first you have to enable them. And to enable, you just have to type in opportunity and you, have, you see something that's called opportunity team settings. Right. If you take a look at the settings here, I'll have to open this in classic. You see, you can enable your team. Okay. So this says that the opportunity teams help multiple users to better collaborate by defining a role and then they have some level of access. Okay. Now I can just hit the save button and this will enable opportunity teams. Okay. I'll just have it on my opportunity layout, which is the system admin layout. And I'll just say save and now I'll I'll have to disable if I want to, but right now I don't want to disable it. Okay. Now if I take a look at any opportunity that I have, right, let's open any opportunity and let's take a look at Burlington textiles for now. So you see, there is something that's called opportunity team. And if I want to create a team, I can simply go ahead and say new and I can add team members. Right. You have a lot of configuration available out of the box, but let me just quickly show you the use, show you a very basic stuff so that we are able to start our use case. Okay. So I'll just set some guys here and I'll just say maybe integration user and I'll just say give read write access to both of these people. Right. I'll say save. So I've just added two opportunity team members to this record. Right. Now our use case is if the opportunity is changed to closed lost. I need to automatically remove those two members from the opportunity because there's no revenue involved then coming up, right? So we want to remove the team members. So this is our use case. How do we achieve it? Let's take a look. Before jumping into the developer console, what's the object that you want to write the trigger on? It should be the opportunity object. Why? Why? Because the stage of opportunity is changing and that is your trigger point, right? And where do you want to write it? It would be an update scenario, right? when the opportunity is being updated to close lost. So it would be an update scenario. And what are you trying to do? You're trying to do something to the related records, which means you have to use the after context, right? I hope this, this after and before context is absolutely clear. This will help you take good decisions while writing triggers. Okay. So this is our primary framework setup. Let's go to opportunity trigger. Now I'll say open classes or oh, it should be triggers opportunity trigger. And here, do I have something for after update? I already do, right? So after update is here. This is after update and this is our method. Let's open this method and let's see what do we have here. So this is handle activities after update, right? And here we are doing something with the stage name closed one. And now we want to do things with the closed loss status, right? So let's use this particular method and try to embed our logic here. Okay. Instead of getting rid of everything, let's try to embed our logic here. So we already have new records being queried, I mean, uh, in the method and they are being iterated, right? And here it is checking the stage name as closed one. And this is the block that is being executed if it is closed one. What I want to do here is I will say else if op dot stage name equals what is our state right now? It's closed lost, right? This is where I want to do my thing. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to figure out are there any opportunity team members involved with this opportunity? If they are, I want to take them out and I want to delete those guys. Now, what is this object? Let's click on open. Let's go to objects and let's say opportunity. So you see, this is the object right here. Opportunity team member. This contains a parent that refers to the opportunity ID and it has user and team member role information, the role and which user is associated, right? So this is what we want to Query out first. I want to get all the opportunity team members who are part of the opportunities that have come in here, right? If I'm able to get that, I should be able to just say, simply say, if the stage is closed one, closed lost, delete it. 
right so before jumping into this if clause i'll have to query all my opportunity team members how do i do that i'll simply say list of opportunity team member now if you notice see i'm not writing everything on my own like i know everything i went to the object i, I just saw the name here opportunity team member I, i'm seeing the field uh, api names here so that's helping me take a decision that is not creating any errors or warnings right it's not like i know everything and i'm just, just trying to do it if you don't know a value a api name go to the reference go to check the metadata api reference and just uh, copy the value from there right so this is the object name that i see here and i'll say team members equals i simply want to fetch all ids from opportunity team member where opportunity id see this field right here the opportunity id reference is what i want to track so any team member who's part of the opportunities that have come in here i want to fetch all of them right so i'll just say in and i want to put a colon and i want to put list of op ids how do i get my list of op ids i have to iterate over my opportunity that has just come in so i'll say opportunity opp in new records i'll simply say list of op ids dot add opp dot id so i'm just collecting all the ids all the opportunity ids right and now when i use it here it should not er error out and before that i have to just define this particular list now this would be a list of ids right it is storing the id attribute i'll just update the name here and the data type here save this should save a fine let's see saved a fine right so now i have all the team members who are part of the opportunities that are currently coming into the context okay and now what i want to do is i want i'm checking here if the op dot stage name is equal to closed lost right this is what i'm checking i want to now fetch this particular opportunity okay and this particular opportunity all the team members who are part of it i'll just take them separately in a in another list that i want to delete so let's try doing this i'm just querying the id in the opportunity id here and i'm getting all the team members right this is my team members and now here if op dot stage name is equal to closed lots lost what do we do we iterate over the team members so i'll say for opportunity team member in the list that i have just queried if team member dot opportunity id equal to op dot id the current opportunity in question right if there is a team member whose parent is the same opportunity which is currently being talked about in this else if condition which kind of tells you that the stage name is closed lost i want to say that yeah get rid of this guy get rid of this team member because we know that the opportunity is now being updated to closed lost right and anyone who's part of this particular opportunity has to be deleted so i'll just say delete member list dot add i'll just add this team member id okay so when you want to delete you want the you, you need the ids of the record that you want to delete right and i'll just define the list here on top so i'll just say list of one more list of ids will be created and i'll say list of ids delete member list equal to list of ids new list of ids save let's see if it saves a fine saved up fine no errors right i know there's a lot of code in between don't worry about that just understand that there was another business use case that you worked on previously and now you are adding on code to it okay this also helps to keep your keep your mind uh, organized in terms of what you did before and what you are doing now so instead of messing up or you know clearing out everything you cannot clear out everything every time right you would have to write code on top of another code that's already written so we have to do it so what i did was i leveraged the existing for loop i used the if condition this was working for closed one i just said else if condition and i asked my code to check for closed lost okay and if it is closed lost i iterated over the team member records that i have in my uh, query and for each record that that came in here i just said that you know if the team member matches the parent opportunity just add it to the list okay so my list is ready now and if i go outside this else if block i should be what is this block this should be the parent for block right so i'll just get rid of get outside this particular block i'll come here and i'll say if delete member list is not empty 
which means they found some team members who were part of opportunities that have been closed lost right that is what it means so if it is not empty i'll just say delete oops delete member list so i'm just passing all the record ids that i want deleted okay what's the issue let's see it's saying dml requires s object or s object list of type so it's saying you you cannot use ids right so it cannot be ids my bad it should be either s object or s list of s object so i'll convert this to a list of s object i want to i am already using a list right but that's a list of id it should be list of s object in this case what is the object it is the opportunity team member so i'll get rid of the id i'll pass the entire team member object here and here on top i'll simply say this should be list of opportunity team members okay so this tells you that it needs the entire record that you want to delete not just the record id let's say save now okay now when i save it it saves a file something we learned today right delete will take an, a list of object or an object good interview question yes definitely all right now let's try and test it out so if i go to opportunity we had an opportunity created right yeah this one right here has two team members down below see himanshu and the integration user let's move this to closed lost i'll say closed lost i'll say save so this has changed successfully let's take a look at the team member see the team members have cleared out perfect right so beautiful the code has successfully been able to remove all the team members who were part of this opportunity because the opportunity was closed lost so there is no revenue generated no one would get a penny so the team members were removed and see how easily it's working with the existing context because in this case the task list would be empty because we were in this particular else if block it never executed this block right here because the opportunity was not closed one all right looks good sounds good what why did i add this opportunity id here if you might think when i did that i did not tell you why i did that but because you have to use it here you wanted to use it here right that the team members opportunity id equal to the current opportunity id so to be able to use it with the dot operator you have to have it queried only then you can use it if i did not have it here i would get an exception saying uh, row uh, circle row is missing you know invalid field some some sort of error that would tell me that you know the field is missing it was not queried basically so i would have to query it then all right so this looks good cool let's take a look at the next use case